Hey guys, it's Amber Rock Strikes Back once again, and walk and now you think that's awesome, guys? I'm gonna give you a bonus round, guys. You get another off-topic stuff in one day. <laughs> yes, right, guys. Um, welcome to off-topic stuff episode ten. Holy shit! I've done ten episodes already. So yes, um, if you're wondering where my parents are, my parents are at work. Um. So that's what's happening, guys. Uh, so I got the house to myself for a bit. So uh, before I go to work. So anyway, um, so yes, um, anyway, guys, um, so anyway, um, so I, I, even though I moved on for this series, but there's something I want to tell you guys. I actually recently rewatched Peppa Pig Unrated. That's right. I recently rewatched Peppa Pig Unrated series. Anybody remember the Peppa Pig Unrated series I used to do back in 2020? Um, my pot's my pot's family kindly hired me to do a Pepe on Raid series. I was like, it's alright, I'll do a Pepe on Raid. And he just hired me immediately, just said, go right ahead. And um, he is the original Cray of the series. Well, uh, and, and he hired me to do my own series. I made more episodes more than him, surprisingly. And, um, and yes, it, oh god, it aged very well, guys. It aged very well. And, uh, yeah, it was hilarious. And, uh, re watching the series to this day. I, I'm surprised a lot of YouTubers, a lot of YouTubers love my series. Like, Gwen the Cat loved my series. And, um, and, um, or, and, and, um, others. And, and I remember, um, I used to do the, um, Daddy Pig, the fucking British fan ass. And I used to do the, the Five Guys jokes. So, I'm like, like he's nothing but McDonald's and Five Guys twenty four seven, and everybody loved that joke. Of the, one of my fans loved the ball off of that joke. Honestly, oh, classic. Now, I have ended the series two years ago. The reason why I was actually running out of ideas, and I couldn't find a single episode to do a rating on that. And due to that, guys, I said, you know what? It's just for the best. It's time for the show to rest. And ever since then, I decided to do. Um, I decided to do. Um, to just focus on reviews and rants, and this is the this is before I got this is one year before I got hired from Tim Horton. So I didn't have a job at the time because um dude it was due to it was due to lockdown and stuff. I said to myself, you know what, I will get a job when this whole a whole whole free all lockdown bullshit is over. Thankfully, I'll wait. It was worth the wait. So anyway, um, so anyway, I hope you guys enjoy my Ryan Struck in a nutshell joke I did. <laughs> Because I will be using it. I will be. I'll be using that running gag like, in most of my off-topic stuff. I'll watch a TV show or something. So, anyway, um, so anyway, guys, um, and Trolls Band Together just came out today. And like I said, guys, I'm not gonna go see it in cinemas. I was originally going to, but due to that, Luigi Mama's gonna keep overhyping the movie nonstop. It just made me don't want to go see it in cinemas. And you know what? I ain't gonna see it because. I don't like Luigi Mama's gonna keep overhyping movies. Like I'm, just, I'm fucking scared he's gonna overhype um Despicable Me Four, which I'm scared he's gonna do that because, because I do want to see in cinemas, but I don't want that motherfucker Luigi Mama's gaming to overhype Despicable Me Four, which I'm honestly I can't be excited for it if there's no trailer. I don't like getting excited for movies if there's no trailer. So I'll see how that goes. It better be good because I'm I'm. It better be better than mediocre Despicable Me Three, which I wasn't a big fan of Despicable Me Three. I enjoyed, I liked the film when I saw it in cinemas, but then years later, I have lost my memory from that movie. I said myself, eh, it was a mediocre movie, not a bad film. It was, eh, but it could have been worse. It's, I know. Frozen 2 Band 2004 and Nick 2001 hates that film, but I don't find that film to be rant worthy. It's I still get a five out of ten in my I still get a five out of ten. It's a mediocre movie, which I think it could have been better. I'm hoping the fourth film is a lot better, so So anyway, we'll see how that goes. And um I'm really hope Garfield's a good film. Please don't ruin Garfield again for the third time. The fourth time I went. Because I hated God It Gets Real. I used to love that film as a kid. But looking back to it years later. It fucking sucked. Gets Real was a piece of shit. I think that film was a garbage. And that film was a... I mean. It's still an improvement over, over Gets Real. But it's I'm not saying much. It's just. 
it had a cliche story and um and predictable characters and and the John dancing in the opening just did da 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 oh yeah he just danced like a fucking pedophile in that in that scene he dances like a fucking pedophile oh not not pedophile he danced like an idiot in that one I'm sorry guys just he just danced like a pedophile in that in that scene just I know he's not a pedophile guys I'm doing it as a joke it's a comedy purpose only guys just saying because. So yeah, and um, yeah, the whole film was, and that Ramon guy turned to be normal all this time. I knew that was, I knew it was normal ever since I was a kid. I was like, oh, that's gonna be normal. Where he was in the whole time, he was, he was in that Ramon costume the whole time, and yeah, fuck gets ripped, fuck fun fest. Fun fest is a piece of shit. So not as bad as, and then we get to Pet Force. Oh god. That is the worst golf film movie I've ever seen in my life. I think Gets Real was the worst, but I think Pet Force is by the worst, the worst one out of the three uh, straight to the golf film movies, which I'm not a huge fan of golf as actor in Gets Real, Fun Fest, and Pet Force, and I'm not a big fan of his actor who played him, but I mean, the original golf film is superior. Hell, even Bill Murray from the live action golf film movies is superior to him, but if you like, I'm not, I'm not saying he's a bad actor, I mean, who played Garfield, uh, Frank something, as Amy is, um, I'm not saying he's a bad actor, he's a good actor, don't get me wrong, I mean, um, I don't hate him, it's just, it, it's just, just don't, I'm just hoping Chris Pratt will do a better Garfield, so, I was kind of skeptical as why is Chris Pratt playing Garfield, so, oh, sorry, that's my phone, sorry, guys, <laughs> so, anyway, um, so, anyway, I'm just hoping it's a good film, I might have to lower my expectations, because, uh, I might, I might also, I might just tell them and my family know I'll go see Garfield in cinemas because my dad knows how much I love Garfield growing up and he, he knows I used to watch the shows a lot when I was younger and um and we, him and I used to joke around uh Garfield's coming to our house because we had Rizania one time. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck. oh fuck! I almost dropped my phone Curse Curses Sorry guys, I almost dropped my phone before back off saying guys and and yeah, um so anyway, uh, back to Garfield. I really hope Chris Pratt at least do a decent job as as, as Garfield. Um, I'm kind of skeptical about the honest guys. I uh, may have to lower my just in case. So, so that's what's happening, guys. So anyway, um, just just putting feature on in the background and watching. I've already seen the episode. I've already seen the series before on Prime Video during lockdown, second lockdown. So, um, I've. Even though I despise lockdown and burning passion, the only good thing is I get to watch a lot of TV shows. I think the best moment of the third lockdown, of, of the third and final lockdown for good, is I get I, I is I binge watching the Loud House and the Castle Granis during lockdown. That was the best lock. That was the best moment I had of the entire third lockdown back in two thousand twenty one. That was the best one. All right, guys, I want to show you something, guys. Look, ready? That's Luigi Mother's gaming. And that's a fuck attack at him! Ooh, get him! Get him! Get Luigi Mom's gaming! <laughs> that's that's what you get. Hey, that, take that Luigi Mom's gaming. That's what you get for, for over hyping Charles Band together and praising to like it's better than motherfucking God, you dumb bastard. Or you dumb bastard! Slap him! Yeah, I'm doing my, my pronunciation of Mom from Future Armor, where she says, You dumb bastard! And you slaps him and he slaps her sons. <laughs> Yep, that's how I can summarize Luigi Mother's gaming. Uh, oh my god, guys. I'm not taking the extreme, guys. I'm doing this as a joke. It's just a comedy purpose. Just. Yeah, done. One more episode left until I finish season nine. Oh, I can't believe it's nearly done. So yeah, one more episode of season nine, and I'm on, I'm done. I'm done. Season nine, and we're on season ten, the final season. Honestly, I'm kind of it's kind of sad I'm almost done because I absolutely love Future Armor. It's a great show, and um. I didn't really grew up with it. I didn't watch the show until 2020, and um, 
so that's what's happening guys um so that's what's happening guys um i'm i can't believe i'm almost done with the series i'm so proud of myself so yeah it's a show i don't hardly talk about on my channel i mean i mean i'm gonna watch big mouth season seven soon which i'm okay with that show ending that show had a good run it had a great run so anyway guys um I will be hope I'm gonna I'm gonna be guessing I will be finishing feature armor, hopefully before Sunday after during Sunday or Monday I might finish the series because I'm gonna start watching Blue and I'm gonna do a review on it so that's gonna be exciting. Mom, Dad, Bingo, Bluey, and yes, guys, thank God that the Bluey video game will cost thirty five pounds. I will consider getting it, but. I will try my best to get on the eShop, so that's what's happening guys, um, looking forward to it, so. So, anyway guys, um, like I said, Charles Band is out today, I ain't gonna see it because, because due to the Luigi Mavis gonna keep overhyping the movie, just. So, anyway guys, I'm going to end it here soon, and then we'll, and my next off-topic stuff will be. Maybe tomorrow or ne sometime next week. So that's what's happening, guys. Because these off-topic stuff I'm doing are so fantastic. So, so I think doing off-topic stuff at home is a lot easier than do I do off-topic stuff outside. Because doing off-topic stuff outside is can be very tricky. Because I'm trying to find a trying to stay hidden. So. So anyway, guys, uh, so anyway, guys, I'm going to enjoy my, I'm going, I'm going to enjoy some future armor before I go to work and I'm ready for a closing shift. It's going to be tiring. I can't believe I'm doing closing, guys. It's going to be tiring, but so, uh, Oh, or oh, oh, I'll do my version. Oh, inside Man 2001. I can't wait to see Charles Band together. It's gonna be the best movie ever. Nobody cares. That's what that's what I say to to Inside Man 2001. Nobody cares. From the site, the first site, the Hedgehog. Oh god, that seems hilarious. Robotic, robotic says nobody cares. Even though I move on Peppa Pig, but you guys remember, guys, you guys remember I used to do uh, nobody cares in my Peppa Pig Unrated series. Oh. Good times, guys. And no, guys, I'm not bringing back the series because I'm not going to revive the series because I moved on from. I'm, I'm, I'm now a better YouTuber, better than Luigi Mother's Gaming. So yeah. So anyway, guys, uh, that's what's happening, guys. Um, what time is it now? Oh, oh, eight thirty-four. I'm going to enjoy this watching future before I go to work. So that's really exciting, guys. So yeah, really exciting. So, anyway, guys, um, anyway, guys, I'm going to hear you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to my channel, like and subscribe to my channel, like and share with your friends, and stay tuned for my next off topic. Hopefully, tomorrow or something. If not, maybe next week. Bye.